All right, so I'm here with Jace. He's our buyer and helping us with the Black Ovis brand. There's some really cool things coming out and we've had a piece, Jace, that is actually pretty sweet and a different way of thinking about base layers. This is our three quarter bottom. So dive into this, Jace. Tell us, you know, what are the benefits of a three quarter? Why would you want it? And when would you go full length and when would you go three quarter? Yeah, for sure. So uh, obviously the air is starting to cool down. We really need to start thinking about base layers. Um, this is the Tusk Aurora three quarter bottom, like you said. It's a 200 weight Merino uh, that's constructed of 87 Duraspan uh, Merino and then it's a 13% nylon. Uh, the 200 weight's a really cool weight because it does work in a lot of conditions. So, you know, early mornings when it is cool, uh, you're gonna get the warmth and the actual thermal regulation um, advantages of it. But yeah. when it does start to get hot, you're not gonna feel overly hot. Um, you know, let's talk about that three quarter. That's probably the biggest distinguishing yeah. piece. So it kind of cuts off about mid calf there. One of the biggest problems with base layers is we, we overheat and we dump heat best through our wrists, our hands, our feet, um, and our heads. And so that obviously eliminates a lot of that layer underneath your socks. By the time you get socks on your base layer, you've got an outer layer, rain gear, sure. gaiters, like you see where I'm going with this. It's a very easy to get overheated. Um, and getting that next to skin layer off of your calf there really makes a difference. Um, you should be wearing Merino. There's a ton of advantages to it. And especially this piece, like it's my staple. Yeah, I think, you know, I come from skiing where, you know, we're, we're packing on these really heavy, tight boots. We're wrenching them down. There's an artery in your foot. If you cut off that artery, that's why people have cold feet. And that happens so often in skiing. But what's interesting with this is you also around the ankle, you don't want to compress that too much either. Exactly. I mean, we're running around the mountains, throwing on crispies, tighten down those laces. We need that stiffness, not quite at that ski boot level, but that comfort needs to happen as well because yeah, I mean, we're throwing on pretty stiff boots, wrenching those down. This this is a cool piece because it really answers that. I think we've all been there where we bunched up our base layers yeah. and it just, it's uncomfortable and it, do, it doesn't promote good blood, blood flow. So even with all these layers on, you can still get cold feet if you are compressing that blood flow. So yeah, yeah I mean, it, it just, it answers a lot of the, a lot of the issues that have been present in full length bottoms. Now there are advantages to full length bottoms when it is extremely cold, or maybe you're gonna run a lighter sock and you're not worried about that bulking. There are you know there's still uh, a time and a place for a full length bottom but i do feel like the three-quarter bottom it, it's my favorite um going forward i will continue to wear the three-quarter bottom this fall so yeah another key note on this you're going to notice uh, a newer color this is cement kind of that nice stone gray this is a really cool addition to the black Ovis family as well and so yeah just kind of shaking things up or adding more to our arsenal and and having some fun there so um yeah I would say too, on the footwear piece, that is one thing as well is just being mindful of your systems. Like if you're running around with cold feet, you know, gut check your socks. What, what are you doing there? And so now we're taking to that next level of what are you doing for base layers? Is yep. that thing wrenching around key arteries? Cause when that blood flow doesn't happen, that's when you get cold feet. Exactly. That's arguably one of the most important pieces of our system is our base layer. That's our next to skin. Uh, piece yeah. that's the one that wicks the moisture away uh, prevents a lot of odor obviously merino has natural odor resisting qualities um, yeah I, I rarely find myself in synthetic base layers now that i've worn merino so that's awesome well thanks for joining us shop more and learn more about this on blackovis.com also a little shout out to our rewards program if you spend a certain amount of money on Black Ovis gear, optics, whatever it might be, you're actually gonna get that money back. So we have a reward system, learn more on that, on how the points work. But I mean, if you buy thousand dollar spotting scope, you actually get about a hundred bucks uh, back. And so that's really cool. You can use that towards other gear. You get store credit, really sweet. If you've got any questions about this gear, we've got awesome gear experts and they are on the phones. They're building arrows on their desk. Jace, I believe you <laughs> build a few arrows on your desk. We live and breathe this. We're happy to help. So give us a call. We're, we're there. We answer. We're human and we're ready to help. So learn more at Black Ovis and thanks for joining this video.